Hello everyone. So this is the perfect place to um, start the video. As you can see, I have just weighted um, the covers down with um, these lovely old vintage books, <laughs> you guys. I just absolutely love them. Look, that's 1868, but look at that. That just looks glorious. But anyway, I'm gonna set this to the side. And these, some old Dickens, what? <laughs> okay, now hopefully that will not be in my way. It looks like it's starting to, let's push that back. Okay, so now we have, okay, this piece. Um, it's in there, and as I was, um, waiting for this to dry, fiddling around. Um, I came back and I was like, oh my gosh, what if it dried and it's not in place? Well, if it's not, nope, it's stuck. So my little theory would not have worked a little bit, but see how you can, that is, you can manipulate that to where if it's, all, and I don't even know, let's check and see. Nope, it's pretty good. But you could manipulate that if you, you didn't line it up correctly to line that up. So anyway, now we're going to, um, put this cover together so I'm going to turn it this way and I'm just going to start um, since I had um, since I have so much extra fabric I have to go in now and cut some of it off and I don't know how much that is maybe an inch inch and a half I'm just going to and I am not a straight cutter, you guys. And I um, usually <laughs> will overcut. So if I do cut crazy, um, that I have enough room to make up for that. Just gonna do the same thing. And it's not gonna hurt anything. You're just gonna have extra fabric hanging over if you do um, cut more than what mo most people say to cut. Now, I need to make sure that that is um, straight, okay? Because I almost look, I would have cut. Well, that would have given me extra fabric, but if it was like that and then I cut. So as long as that's straight, we should be good. Any tips on cutting straight, you guys? If so, leave it in the comment below because I would love to know how some of you guys cut fabric so straight like that i know the things you have they have um at the at walmart and hobby lobby or wherever you get your fabric the little hole you know the little re recessed ridges um i had to feel my e and i want to do a rant about printers you guys okay so i have um the first printer i, I, I bought for junk journals was um the hp 452 dw Love that printer. It was a recommendation I got from um, Jennifer of Dreams, etc. Love that printer. Okay. Was having issues. Wanted to go out and on another recommendation, I got the Epson EcoTank, which I had always um, wanted in the first place. Love the idea of filling up the, um, the refillable ink. Okay. Now, it is no way anywhere near in comparison to my HP um, 452. Um, the image wise, you get better um, prints. I don't know um, the contrast or the definition in the prints. There's no competition. I will say that with the Eco Tank, they do print out lovely vintage um, images because of that reason. But if you want to be able to print something out and Take that print and then go and coffee dye it, spray it with some liquid or whatever you want to do. You can do that with the HP. With the Eco Tank, you cannot do that. You have to coffee dye your papers first, make sure that they're flat, and then put them in the printer to print off. Now they, you know, I don't want to bash the Eco Tank, um, the Epson, because it's a lovely printer, beautiful printer, um, and but it's perfect for me for printing off um, school sheets for the um, children and stuff. Lovely prints like that. That's my um, 
that. Oh yeah, and the ink, I just, you know, I've been having like inky fingers today. When I changed the ink, that little thing that I thought was so good about the Eco Tank, look at this guys. When I deal with the HP, I don't have to worry about all of that. So it just is what it is. Let's put this uh, cover together. So I'm gonna go in and, um, you know, we learned this in scrapbooking. There are plenty of videos on this because my science is not exact, but I know if you go at an angle, and I used to go just like a straight angle, and that'll work, but I know that some people, and I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to start at an angle here. I'm not going to cut, I don't want to cut this here um, fabric right up to that. I need to leave a little bit of hangover. Um, but I don't even worry about that. Um, I have before with paper. If you mess up, you can just probably go in and add some fabric to kind of conceal that because you're going to put something over that anyway. Enough talking. So I'm going to go at, and one of the ladies that I watched, they did a really good one. I, if I remember, I'll try and point her out. Um, but you go at an angle, you leave about a room and there's a device that you can use, um, to, measure that correctly. I'm not gonna worry about it. I just go at an angle. I usually do more because I can always come back in and take away more. But once you've taken, cut off too much, you you know, you can't go and add. Then you have to come up with a way to um, fix your boo-boo. Yeah, so I'll do it again if you can see it a little bit better. Go in here and then I'm gonna kinda angle up or angle straight. I never had a problem. I'm just doing that now because I've <laughs> seen uh, other ladies doing that. So I'm going to go in about right there. See that? And then angle up. Maybe that'll help cover. Angling up will help cover that. Okay. Turned it wrong. Let's do that. One more time and we'll be done, I hope. Cut at an angle. And then cut up. Okay, now we have a piece that looks like this. Put these in the trash. Okay, now turn your journal over. Okay, now before I forget, in the next video, um, I will be showing you the um, curved spine and adding your raised motif to your journal covers. And then um, you'll have to worry about um, the placement of everything. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and lay this one down. So we're gonna go back to the PVA. And this is thick, I wonder if you can um, wet this down. And I see some little black pieces in my, um, tray, but I'm not going to worry about that because it probably came off of here. So I have to find the brush. And we're just going to cover the cover completely. Make sure you, um, but right up against that fabric. Just but right up against it. Now see, because this is kind of thick. And I'm trying to think, I know I used uh, the PVA on the last journal the um volume the first volume and I'm trying to see if I used it on the car. I think I did. Yep, I do believe I did. Come on. But the other brush, I had better coverage, but I have to work with what I've got here. So you guys, um, please just go ahead and fast forward um, through this part of the video because um, 
I really don't think I will be going in and trying to edit that out. Like I said, I'll end up deleting the video, the whole video. Just try and make sure um, it's not like really globby in some places. Now I'm getting kind of nasty because I'm trying to hurry up because that's over there setting. Just make sure it's covered on all those edges because you want that to grab over there. If I had music, you guys, <laughs> I I would play it. But just think in your head right now, the um, is it the price is right? You know when it comes on and they're thinking and it plays that music. Do 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 do. Yeah, I cannot sing, and I will not attempt to. But just play that right now, you guys. Okay, now I've got to go back in and try and hit some of those places I think may be dry, and just make sure that everything is covered. Right now, someone's saying, hit that spot, hit that spot. Uh, well, you know, I can't probably see what you're seeing. I'm trying, though, you guys. Just want to make sure I got I have a good cover coverage. And I'm globbing it on, aren't I? See, the, um, the Mod Podge did not give me this much of a problem. But everything has its pros and cons. And hopefully that will stick. I don't want that to. Now let's see. And we're going to fold this flat. And then just with your finger or a, um old credit card, just kind of bring it forward. Where is... that bone folder and smooth everything out. And you can even go in if I had um, put enough glue on those edges. And see the lines in that fabric that I told you guys about in the other video? I like that adds interest, but if you don't want that, just go to Walmart and buy um, some canvas, or what am I thinking? Some thick, some thick fabric, uh, whatever it is. And also, if you're going to use, um, if you want to use some fabric that is thinner, um, learn this also from the lady on Instagram, um, and I can't even remember. It's the Rust Oleum Matte Clear and you spray that on your um, fabric and it'll help to seal it so that the glue gobs do not show through when you're using thinner fabric. So I do have Rust-Oleum because I have some thinner fabrics um, and I sprayed it one time and um, definitely, you definitely need to do that outside or in um, a well ventilated area. And you're supposed to, on the bottle it says, um, or the can it says to do that like three or four times. So um, with these journals, so if I have all of this information, why am I doing this? Well, because this is my uh, version, my way of doing it. I was watching everybody's um, videos or tutorials and it they offered a little something, but it didn't offer a complete um, video as to what I was looking for in uh, my journal. So, um, but I was appreciative. I am appreciative of everything that they offered because like I said, you know, it's their time they've put in and they're showing us some of their craft. So I do appreciate that. But this is just my take on 
the way that I want to do my journals. And I'm still learning. And so um, as I learn new things, um, I will share with you guys. Because that's what um, I love about this community, the sharing. You know, Edward, um, so generous with one another, for the most part anyway. Now, see, if you have fast forwarded through all of this, you missed um, all of this wittiness that I'm giving off right now. And that's supposed to be a joke. I know it's very corny. I'm a corny person, you guys. I'm trying to get this done. Continue with the Price is Right music, people. Is it the Price is Right? What is it? You guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. It may not be Price is Right. It's the one with Alex. What's his name? Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Oh, man. That song is in my head. And I can't even... Alice Trevec? What is the name of that? Game. Mm-mm-mm. That is sad. Okay. Yeah, see, this PVA, um, I will go back and get the gallon. Because I see now that it will go really fast. It seems to be very good glue, though, you guys. Very good glue. Am I in frame? I'm sorry. I just thought to check it. My goodness. So is it Wheel of Fortune? Nope, it is Price is... No, Wheel of Fortune, Price is Right. Nope, it's not it. Price Wheel of Fortune is with the um the other guy. And Price is Right is now done by... I'm sure you guys are yelling these names out at me. But what is the other name that I'm searching for? You know, it's like they've got all these brainiacs on there. And then some of the questions they don't know and you're yelling out the answer oh, goodness gracious someone yell out the answer please I'm waiting I can't hear you <laughs> I think I'm going to change the name of my channel to um, Delirious Clemmy there was a lady making fun of me and she was cracking me up if you're watching hi and thank you you lifted my morning Okay, so definitely have to go and smooth it out. Because see, it's got right there in the crack. Just take it and smooth it out. Smooth it out. Okay. Put my glue, my brush, and some water. Set this to the side. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do this part, which is a little tricky. Okay, so we have, make sure I'm in frame, these pieces here. And you can see that they're bunched up. And those pieces, I'm going to slit or slit I'm gonna cut right there like that just gonna make a cut through there I didn't go all the way up and now I have a piece that looks like that okay now come over and cut that piece off and you can always go back in and that's generally what I have to do I have to cut um, several times and so I'm going to do that on the uh, next side Okay, 
Okey-dokey. And I'm just gonna pull that up and I can see where I may need to go in and trim some more, like maybe there. And then I'm gonna trim some of this fabric off. can also just bring that up and then trim that over because I don't want to trim too much I would rather have more than um, trim too much and not have enough left because this fabric is thick but it's thin enough to where I can manipulate that and then make sure you've got good movement Sorry right, guys, you just gotta bear with me. And someone right now also is probably saying, do it a little bit better. So I'm just gonna take a piece off like this. And if I've messed it up, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna trim from this side and then I'll be ready to um, adhere that to the cover. Just gonna trim like that. Okay, so let's go for it. I'm gonna put a little piece there. I don't think I did that the last time, but I'm going to. I don't think it matters if you don't. And I also put some here. Am I in frame? like and I probably shouldn't have done that because now I've got those glue globs and I don't want the fabric that's fraying you don't have to worry about it coming up because you can um, you're gonna add something over that when you do your um, hidden binding so I'm gonna do that again and I glue a little here to try and make sure that that adheres down because this part is sticking up And I usually go back in and measure my side piece over here, but I didn't. It's okay. I'll go in and fix it if it's not. I'm just going to kind of bring that part in. And with Fabri-Tac, <clears throat> You always have the goo or whatever you want to call that, the residue. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, this piece. Excuse me. And I'm just measuring to make sure that that's going to look right. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Let's make sure. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in this little area right here. Then I'm gonna come around and finish gluing. And I'll glue along this side and also up there in case it needs to catch that. So, I'm going to take and push, if you can see that, I'm pushing this little piece in with my thumb. And then I'm also gonna come in and push a little bit of this piece in. Flatten it down as much as you can. So I also want to jump in here and say right now, because um, I thought about that when I made the last video. Um, you guys, um, 
I told you that Nick the book, Booksmith is a huge inspiration. I love her books and um, just do not want to pay that price. But if you want to get um, a very professional look and with measurements and everything, I'm sure that she offers that in her course because just by listening to her um, other tutorials that she has um, so generous, generously um, gifted us with, you can tell that you're given all of that. So if you have the money for that, um, and I didn't cut here while I'm doing all this talking, I'm not going to worry about it. It'll be okay. Um, if you have the money for that, I definitely recommend that because um, if I was a mind to pay that price, um, I definitely would have. But who knows? Maybe someone will be kind and um, give me a gift card or something just for that purpose. <laughs> But anywho, moving forward, we've got to now work with what we were running our big mouth about and um, didn't finish doing this. Oh, I think I messed up, you guys. Did I? If I did, we will fix it. No worries. No worries. I don't even know. Akuna Matata. And um, that's on my mind because um, Lion King is um, coming out in a month or so, I guess. Just going to do the same thing. Take that thumb and I'm going to butt that up. And I often wonder, does Mac Akuna Matata really mean that? Or did they make it up or what the heck? You, you know, you never know what you're saying. We may be saying something diabolical. You know, it's a wonderful phrase, they say. Okie dokie. Just repeated those steps. I'm sorry, I gotta rub my hands now. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna remember to cut this one. So let's do that. Let's cut. Snippity snip, snip. Go in at an angle. Cut your little triangle and do the same. Let's see if I do it at this angle. Get in camera here. And now let's measure. Okay, that piece may not be so bad because see, yeah, I think that's gonna be good. I may try and do the other one like that. I may like that mistake. Hmm. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna glue this little piece down and this little piece over to that right there. Hope that's in camera. I'm gonna glue that like so. And then I'm gonna bring this one probably there. Let's see if it'll come over. Nope, it's cutting off on me. I have to glue it down at the same time. So that's what I'm gonna do. Glue there. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring, I want to bring this part over. Now all the crud on my hands is catching. Bring it over. That's what I want. And for this one, I want to stick it down. Make sure, yeah, there's good movement. You just want to make sure that your book has good movement. Okay, we're at the 30 minute mark and I didn't want these to be more than 20 minutes. So um, we're gonna hurry up here or I could cut the video off, but I'm not gonna do you guys like that. I'm gonna go ahead and finish. So just bear with me, okay? We're just gonna finish gluing. And I did glue a little bit on top of that on that little ridge. Bring 
that up. Just make sure that that's all up and then smooth it out. Rub your hands together and get all of the fabric tack off as I roll my eyes. Goodness gracious. Moving along. I should have come in and cut some more of that down, but I'm gonna finish this video. Yep, see, I should have cut a little bit more of that off. Just gonna tuck it in. Make sure that everything is glued down good. Gonna come over here some, bring that in. Not too much, hold on. And that's not doing like I want it to. Because I didn't cut off enough. I mean, I cut off too much. Let's see, if I stretch it, I can still, hmm, I don't like that. Let's try that. Nope, I don't like that either. So, I'm gonna try and fix this. I probably just made it worse. Oh no, not the glue on there. Yep. Move that to the side. Okay, let's finish this, you guys. I'm gonna bring that up. Things never work right when you're trying to make a video of something. Oh goodness, catch, catch, catch. Before the fabric tech dries up on me. Smooth everything out. You can go in and cut that off. I'm just gonna add some more fabric tack. I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh. These little glue globs, you guys. Fabric tack. And I'm still trying to fix this little piece here to where I like it. Yeah, welcome to my world. I say don't worry about it, but some things you just, let's move this. Let's try this again. If I can pull it up more. More glue. I'd rather have um, too much glue here than not enough. glad this is going to be hidden because look at all the glue globs causing it to mess up my fabric. So I'm going to take a little, make sure I get all of that off. I guess I'll measure this side. Okay, that should fit. Same process as the other three. There's a glue. Jibble. Just going to Oh 
Okay, I'm gonna make sure everything is rubbed down. I've got good movement. Make sure that's down again. Let's see. Hold on. And all this stuff is on my table. See, I've got good movement. I just want to make sure that that's not hanging over. If it can't, if it is, you can go back in. Let me get my hands off. Rub them clear. I'm not on camera, or am I? Okay, so now make sure your desktop or whatever your surface area is um clean. So now you have a piece. Oh, goodness, I've got cotton everywhere. Um, so here you have your finished product. Okay, so um, you see that on some of the um journals I brought it in. Let me show you. I brought it in. I'm too close to the camera. I'm sorry. So I was bringing this in and gluing in between there to where you got it straight. So um, I'm having to do more research on that because um, that when it's poking out like that, you need to go back in. And once I'm off camera, I can get this a little bit better. I'll be at a better angle and glue that up. But I was going in to where it was even. And then when I left it off like that, I was like, okay, maybe that's how they do that. I like that look. So anyway, if you choose to go in and then glue it that way, the journal does still open. But I was using Fabri-Tac, which apparently was not the best thing. And then it was leaving um, gobs because I used too much. And then it wasn't um, as sturdy as I would have liked. So here is your journal, you guys. Now from this point, all you have to do is go in and keep all the crap off of it <laughs> all you have to go in now is do your um hidden binding um stay tuned for the next video coming out i will show you how to do um this with a curved spine and i will show you how to do this with the raised motif um two different ways um thank you all for watching sticking around hope you have a lovely day night or evening <laughs> wherever you are, in whatever order.